Okay, we are going to try the skin. This video is going to be a twin soul reading for Sagittarius. So, about three days ago, I recorded like six readings. I recorded Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces. Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn, I uploaded right away. The other ones, I was waiting to get titles for them and somehow they got deleted. So that's how my Mercury retrograde's been going. I don't know about y'all's. Um, so, but one thing we learned during the spiritual journey is that we never give up. We just always keep going. And so that being said, this is going to be your twin soul reading for um, this month. I'll probably do one in the beginning of the month, maybe one towards the end. Um, I'm going to be more present and focused on my channel. So we're going to do things a little bit different. Um, let me clear the energy one second. So I'm going to do two cards for your energy, Sagittarius, two cards for your person's energy, and an advice card from Spirit. So let's dive right in. After that, we'll be doing a message of love from your person. That card's upside down. Um, and then we will end with a advice card from... Um, getting into the vortex deck from Abraham, Esther, and Jerry Hicks. For those of you who have followed me for a while, you know that I love Abraham Hicks. I'm a little bit obsessed and I watch her all the time, um, Esther Hicks, and she channels a being named Abraham and her husband is Jerry. Jerry transitioned. Um, recently, I mean, I don't know if it was recently, but I know he has transitioned. Um, so he is no longer on this earth plane with us. All right, Sagittarius. But, you know, Esther is still lovingly guiding us through all of our love relationships with her messages of timeless love. All right, so I am only taking the cards that fly out and I am leaving the cards face down until I get all the cards out because I do not want me seeing any of the cards influencing at all the energy. So that way you know these are your cards. This is your energy. Like it's not, that is what is happening. All right, so there's two cards for your person. Let's get the advice from Spirit about this connection. And then, woo, jeez. All right, let's see. We'll start with your energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Magician in reverse. Holy crap. All right, so at this point, you are focused on your money, Sagittarius, and you feel like there's not enough. So please be a little gentle with yourself. Give yourself some grace. Nothing happens overnight. Um, and you're really hung up on your manifestations that you haven't seen. So you may be trying to manifest this union and it's not happening. And you're feeling very... Sorry about the background noise. You may be feeling very um, discouraged. Please do not be discouraged. Um, you know, the magician upright is like feeling like you have everything you need to continue, you know, in the journey. And in reverse, it's like you feel like you don't have everything you need to continue this journey. But I'm here to tell you that you do. <laughs> Whether you feel like you do or not, you do. You have everything that you need to succeed. Spirit is saying you do. Um you're just in this feeling of doubting yourself, right? And that's okay. Um, we all do that from time to time. Um, you know, the queen of pentacles upright is like feeling, you know, feeling you're just good, feeling yourself, feeling like you have abundance. And in reverse, it's all of those opposites. So not feeling very abundant, feeling, not feeling just 
sexy and sassy, right? So I'm, I'm sending you a really big energetic hug right now. You are worthy. You are beautiful. You are everything and everything is you. Um, let's check on your person's energy. We have justice for your person. So some of you could be dealing with a Libra. I'm not saying that you are. I'm just saying, you know, justice is Libra energy. So, I mean, it could be for some of you. Um, and it came out right side up. And then we have Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So I don't think there's any reversals for the Wheel of Fortune. Um, I mean, there could be, but it would be very, like, so Wheel of Fortune is basically like fate going in your favor. So if, if there was any reversal, it would just be like, you know, your person might be feeling like fate is not giving them a, a lucky hand or whatever. But I, I don't feel like that. Like, um, it feels very much like your person understands the connection very well. And they feel like fate has brought them to you. Um, and like, like, like fate has brought you to them, right? There is a sense of like, they are going through a lot of karmic lessons right now, you know, cause we got justice and then we also have the wheel of fortune. Hold on one second. So they are going through a lot of karmic lessons. You know, wheel of fortune is always about fate and, and karma and, you know, life happening, you know, the wheel of life. And with it coming out with justice, it feels like they're in the middle of going through karmic cycles. So, you know, that could be why your energy feels off um, because their energy, while it feels a little bit more balanced than yours, they are still taking a beating. Can I say that? Like a heavy blow. Of karmic cycles and things are going according to plan they're just going really slowly because they're in this karmic cycle things are not going to work themselves out right away it's it'll it's going to take a minute but the good news is once these karmic cycles are out of the way everything's going to go it's going to feel like a collective sigh of relief for both of you all right advice from spirit nine of cups in reverse what is up with all these reversals dang I hate doing readings during Mercury Retrograde because all of the readings come out like, like this. And because everyone's working on karmic cycles right now because it's Mercury Retrograde. And so all the readings are kind of like, eh. <laughs> and I want to just be like, you're in love and everything's going perfect. And I, I can't lie. I can't. So it's like, I mean, disclaimer, your twin soul is always connected to you. They always love you. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all what it looks like in the 3D. Always, always, always. They are crazy about you just like you are about them. They are in love with you. They are obsessed with you. Same thing, right? No matter what it looks like in the 3D, I just have to stress that because everyone's like, oh, I'm not sure. They're not my twin, blah, 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 blah. And you'll know where you are in your journey. And if you're on a twin soul journey, and you will know if you've done the work and if you're doing the work, okay? This is not going to resonate with you if you are in karmic cycles and you are messing around with F boys and F girls and all that stuff, right? Okay? You'll know. So I just had to say that because, you know, even if it feels like they're not into you, they are. They are. They are. I'm not, I can't say that enough, you guys. Um, so the nine of cups right side up is like a wish come true. Nine of cups in reverse. So you're not going to see your manifestations come into fruition just yet in regards to this connection. But let me just say, it's only because your person is in a karmic cycle right now. Okay. Everyone is in different stages of their journey. Um, Right now, you and your person are really working. You're working on getting rid of energetic blocks to abundance. They're working on their karmic cycles. And so if you guys were to get together right now and you don't have abundance and they are still in karmic cycles, it's not going to flow right, right? You guys are going to clash. There's going to be a lot of drama, right? 
the timing needs to be right, perfect with your guys' different healing journeys, right? So, you know, you want your person to be ready for you. You want to be ready for them. So, you know, the wish is not happening yet, right? But it's on the way. Can I just say that? Um, once the karmic cycle is done, once you better learned to accept and receive, it's going to flow quickly. All right, let's get some messages from your person and we're going to move on. We're going to move on. All right, messages from Sagittarius' person. Messages from Sagittarius' person, please. Okay. What does Sagittarius' person want them to know? What does, ooh, okay, I'm going to flip this over because I don't want to read the energy before I'm ripe and ready for it. I don't want to see what the card says because I didn't want it to influence any of the other cards. Ooh, it's so funny because I'm always like, we'll get two, and then Spirit always gives me three. So first card we have is irreplaceable. Oh, God. The way that you love can never be matched. I told you. See, your person is saying you are irreplaceable. They know that. They know that nothing compares to you, Sagittarius. They know it. They feel it. They're like, the way that you love me cannot be matched, right? The way that we love each other, nobody can compare to you. Nobody is you, and that is your power, okay? And they feel that, and that's why they're trying to roll through these karmic cycles as quickly as possible, because they want to make their way back to you. Look, disagreements. I wish you understood how I feel. See? They are working so hard. They are working so hard doing the spiritual work. And they just feel so detached from you right now. And I feel this ache in my chest all of a sudden. It's like they... It's almost like they wish that they could just wish all of this away. And so that that way they could just speed things up and get to the union with you. But that's not the way it works, right? We all know... There is a timeline of the way things unfold. And for them, it feels like it's unfolding very slowly. I don't know how you feel about it, but that's how the energy feels. Holding back. I should have expressed myself better. So your person is saying, you know what? I, I didn't say the things that I should have said. Look, it was like this flower, okay, that didn't bloom. It should have bloomed and it didn't. Something is not right. They wanted to say things. They didn't say things. The things that they didn't say are now haunting them, right? If you look between these two, there's like a huge gap, right? This one, it's like there was a point in your guys' union where you were super close and almost inseparable. And then all of a sudden, there was a gap. There was something that happened. And it's like now they're like... They're working on themselves and they feel the gap and they feel the emptiness, you know, not like they feel that they feel like, you know, they're empty without you, but you know what I mean? Not in like a low vibrational, like needing something type of way, but like a, I miss my soul type way. And they wanted to fix it, but they just didn't have the words. It just didn't, they couldn't put into words what it is that they wanted to say if that makes sense wow that's a lot okay um i'm going to get a numerology card for you so i can put it in the title <clears throat> and then we're going to go on to the Ab abraham hicks getting into the vortex relationship um advice for you all right Okay, 88, abundance flipped, but it didn't come out. See, I told you it's on the horizon. I said that. I am can't make it up. I feel it. It's just not quite ready. The soup is not done. Ooh, 19. Is it 19? No, it's 61. It could be 19. That'll resonate with someone. 61, self-love. And this is why the abundance is not quite ready. You're still working on your self-love, and that's okay. Please, 
please, please understand that everything starts with self-love. Once you genuinely love yourself, Sagittarius, genuinely are obsessed and in love with yourself, so much so that nothing can bring you down. Nobody can say anything that can take you down a peg. Nobody can make you feel any less than because you know you are the shiznit. That's when the abundance comes. That's when everything works out in your twin soul journey. Boom. Just like that. It's number seven. If you add it up. Which is an auspiciously lucky number. All right. Let's get your Abraham Hicks um, card. Um, thank you for all your likes and your subscriptions, you guys. I appreciate all of you so much. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, I will put everything in the description box below my video. And you know, it's, it'll be the milkshake link. All right. Abundance for all. Let's go ahead and dive into this. Last final card for Sagittarius. All right. What do we got? Final advice card for Sagittarius from, from my hair. My hair was like in, <laughs> in the cards. All right, Sagittarius, what do we got? Ooh, I love it when the cards fly out super easily. We have our diversity supports our individual freedoms. Boom. Oh my God, I cannot say that better. All right, while your societies continue to try to dictate and enforce human behavior, to please the majority, because of your diversity, it continues to be an uncomfortable struggle that, again and again, falls of its economic weight. There simply is not enough money in the world to buck the natural currents of individual freedom and independence of thought. So, you know, at the end of the day, they're saying money really doesn't matter. There's not enough money in the world that can, you know, buy personal freedom, right? And we all have the right to be free and to love who we want to love and to think our own individual beautiful thoughts. And that's, that's, that's what matters, right? Okay. That we're all diverse. We're all different. We're all beautiful in our own respective lights and you are worthy Sagittarius and I love you so much and you know my word of advice to you is the more you focus on things that bring you joy the happier you are the more focused on your self-love the more you do things which light you up your vibration is going to make everything just come to you super easily and you won't have to work so hard for your abundance because it's just going to fall naturally into your lap please 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 Focus on the things that make you happy. All right. I love you. I love you. I love you. Mwah.